एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Welcome to S Chand Academy. So in part one we did partial derivatives and total derivatives, and now part two will be doing the very important theorem that is on partial derivatives, and that is Euler's theorem. And Euler's theorem basically is for homogeneous functions, especially for homogeneous function, and how this theorem is helpful for uh, uh, in applications, and how it is how we use it or how we apply it. I am Dr. Seema Thakran. Welcome to S Chand Academy. If you want to study partial derivatives and total derivative in detail, please refer to the book by S Chand Publishing. The e-book link is given in the description box below. So let's start with Euler's theorem. So Euler's theorem for homogeneous function obviously the function will be of two variables because this is uh, the theorem is for partial derivatives homogeneous what does homogeneous mean so homogeneous function is of i just write can you see the powers when you are adding the powers this is 3 2 plus 1 3 and this is 3 there is another way to uh, check whether the function is homogeneous or not you just take out x cube outside then this expression will become this so if your complete expression is in y by x form and some power of x is outside this type of expression is also and this is most common so this type of expression is called homogeneous function it means if your function some z function in is in is in this form you say that is homogeneous function of degree n if this is so the euler's theorem states that if z equal to fxy is homogeneous function is homogeneous function of degree n then we get x del f by del x plus y del f by del y equal to n z so you can see del f by del x del f by del y so partial derivatives and this complete expression value euler's theorem just uh, states that this is just n into z n is the degree the power of x which is outside and z is the function so this simplify that this is n z let's take example so very first example is let z is sin inverse z is sin this show that this type of questions you get x del z by del x plus y del z by del y is tan so the question is z equal to sin inverse x square plus y square x plus y show that this how to now uh, uh, check or uh, how we understand that this is euler's theorem question and it is homogeneous function so we'll st start step by step so my z is sin inverse x square plus y square x plus y okay when i'm just looking at uh, uh, the question it is not homogeneous but now let's see what i'm doing i just take this sin inverse to this side so it will become sin z and i take out the highest power of x from numerator and from the denominator so my complete final expression is x x into so you can see some x power and the complete function is in the form of f of y by x so finally this function i call it i just call it u because we are not, we are just used to of a small notation for a function so i'm just calling it as u 
so u is finally homogeneous function of uh, degree how much because this is 1 so degree 1 and u is homogeneous right now z is not homogeneous everywhere just focus u is homogeneous function of degree 1 it means if I am applying Euler's theorem I will be applying on the function u and through u I will come to z because I have to in my uh, the uh, expression the equation which I have to prove in, in that equation it is z so through u I will come to z and how come let us see. So finally u is homogeneous function of x and y and how much degree 1 degree 1 so by Euler's theorem we get that I will be applying the theorem on u not on z that you have to take care of x into del u by del x y into del u by del y is 1 into u because right now everything else is on u. From this expression u is function of z. From this expression u is function of z. But find, uh, but z is function of x and y. How come? u is function of z. z is function of x and y. This is how I am connecting. So, I have to reach to uh, or I have to take the derivative u with respect to x. So, it means which chain is stopping on x? This. So, first d, d uh, because u and z are connected with a single line so total derivative so it means du by dz and then del z by del x plus y the same way du by dz and del u del z by del y and this side it is u and u is sin z so du by dz is how much the derivative of this total it is cos z del z by del u del x as it is you will keep du by dz again cos z and del z by del y equal to sin z cos z is common take it to that side so x del z by del x plus y del z by del y is 10 z so we got the final answer this we were supposed to prove and through the with the help of you can see this we were supposed to prove and we are done and using Euler's theorem and we uh, these type of questions uh, 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 homogeneous is the main part Homogene homogeneity is the main part now one more example quickly so my next is z is log of x cube plus y cube x plus y and I am just this what we have to show that y del z by del y equal to 2 into uh, z or simply 2 the final answer will be just 2. Now how to show this again it is not homogeneous and we, I we can see nothing is like that it is homogeneous how in that it was sine inverse I removed it I took it to uh, the left hand side but what to what do I do how I remove log so what I do I just apply log e that is the only technique we apply to remove log so I have added log e and because log e value is 1 so we can add and now take it to the power and after doing it remove log from both sides so finally the experiment and take out x uh, the max power also to reduce the calculation or the number of steps so this will give me power 2 and this is e to the power z okay so now I am again calling it as u and u you can see u is homogeneous function of degree 2 this time so how to apply Euler's theorem so Euler's theorem by Euler's theorem we got x del u by del x plus y del u by del y is 2 into u and put the values x del u by del x so first you differentiate du by dz the same we did in the uh, previous case and then del z by del x plus y du by dz 
because first you will differentiate it with respect to z and then you will move to y equal to 2u then x what is uh, du by dz that is e to the power z del z by del x plus y du by dz again because e to the power z derivative is e to the power z only del z by del y 2u and that is u value is e to the power z e to the power z gets cancelled and we got our result so this two questions on Euler's theorem and we understood that how Euler's theorem using the partial derivatives is helpful this big expression and like one uh, equation it is giving you so this is the end of the part 2 in part 2 we did Euler's theorem based on partial derivatives and how it is useful we have done two examples we did if you want to study Euler's theorem, partial derivatives and total derivative in detail, please refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing. The ebook link is given in the description box below. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe S. Chand Academy. Don't forget to press the bell icon for the future updates. Stay connected, stay tuned and keep watching the upcoming videos. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.